Hello and welcome to Indic Insights. I would like to request everyone who is watching this video to please leave your feedback regarding our content in the comment section below. It would be really helpful for a new channel like ours to grow. We all know that Mahabharata was written by Maharshi Vedvyasa. But today, I am going to tell you the story of how the Mahabharata was narrated for the first time. The version of Mahabharata that is available to us is not from the point of view of Vyasa but from the point of view of Rishi Vaishampana, who was a disciple of Vyasa. And he narrated the story in the court of Janmajaya, who was the great-grandson of Yudhishthir. By the end of the Kurukshetra war, all the sons of Pandavas had been killed. The only hope was the unborn child of Abhimanyu and Uttara. Ashwatthama had tried to kill the child by using the Brahmastra. However, Lord Krishna had managed to save the child. The child was named Parikshit and he became the successor of Yudhishthir. 36 years after the Kurukshetra war, Yudhishthir along with the Pandavas and Draupadi renounced the kingdom and proceeded to the Himalayas to spend their last days. Parikshit was crowned the king of Hastinapur. Parikshit was a just and popular king and he ruled peacefully for 24 years. Once when Parikshit was on a hunting expedition, he reached the ashram of Rishi Shamek. Parikshit asked the Rishi about the whereabouts of an animal that he was hunting. But Rishi Shamik had taken a vow of silence and so he did not answer Parikshit's question. On not receiving a reply in a fit of rage, Parikshit picked up a dead snake that was lying nearby and threw it around the neck of Rishi Shamik. When Rishi Shamik's son, Rishi Shringi, returned to the ashram in the evening, he saw his father in deep meditation with a dead snake hanging around his neck. Rishi Shringi was enraged by this and he cursed the perpetrator. According to the curse, the perpetrator would be killed by the Naga Takshak within seven days. As per the curse, Takshak bypassed all the security made for Parikshit and bit him dead on the seventh day after that unfortunate incident of Rishi Shamik's ashram. After Parikshit's demise, his son Janmajaya became the king of Hastinapur. One day, a Rishi named Utank came to the court of Janmajaya. He wanted Janmajaya to teach Takshak a lesson. Takshak had become a menace. He would trouble innocent people even though they posed no threat to him. Utank reminded Janmajaya of how the Nag had killed his innocent father. He asked Janmajaya to avenge Parikshit's death by conducting a ritual of snake sacrifice. The idea appealed to Janmajaya. He took Utang's suggestion and soon initiated the Sarpa Yajna. The ritual sacrifice would be so potent that on completion it would have annihilated all the Nagas from earth. Distinguished Rishis, Brahmins, Kings and their ministers from all across the land assembled to witness the snake sacrifice Yajna. Rishi Vedvyasa also came with his students to bless the king. By that time, Rishi Vyasa had already composed the events of the Kurukshetra war and the circumstances that led to the war. Janmaja was extremely happy by the arrival of the Rishi. After paying his respects to the Rishi, Janmaja made a request to the Rishi. He asked Vyasa to narrate in details the events and the circumstances that led to the Kurukshetra war. Ved Vyasa happily obliged. Vyasa asked his student Vaishampayana to narrate the history of Bharat Vamsa the Mahabharata. Vaishampayana began reciting the great story of the Bharata as instructed by his Guru. And thus, Janmajaya Sarpa Yajna became the first instance of retailing the story of Mahabharata. The telling was not a monologue recitation. It was a conversation between Janmajaya and Rishi Vaishampayana. Janmajaya asked the questions and Vaishampayana answered them. Now, among the guests of the Yajna was another Muni called Rishi Ugrashrava. Rishi Ugrashrava was a storyteller. He travelled from places to places narrating stories from the Shastras as well as about ancient kings and kingdoms. On his way back from the Yajna, he stopped at the ashram of Rishi Shonak. In the ashram, as per the request of Shonak Muni and his students, Ugrashrava recounted the story of the narration of the Mahabharata by Vaishampayana to Janmajaya. The Mahabharata that we read today is an account of the same narration of Rishi Ugrashrava to the disciples of Rishi Shonak. With this, I come to the end of this video. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. 
Also, feel free to check out our previous videos and also connect with me on Instagram and give your feedback. And I will see you with the next video.